welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they come and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Amdekanu, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality he say in order to stop Biafran freedom, in order to stop free speech, in order to stop those speaking to the world, telling them about the plight of Biafrans, telling them about the atrocities and the genocide going on in Biafra in the hands of the Fulani Janjaweed and the Fulani Nigerian government. The Fulani Nigerian government are now sending, you know, terrorists in police and military uniforms to trail Biafran human rights activists, to trail those who are supporting or speaking for Biafra. You know, they are trailing them. They are usually using black Helios vehicles with the Nigerian police inscriptions. That's what they use. They have marked out those that they will take out in order to silence the voice of Biafrans. And that is what they are doing. They are doing that. They tried it against uh, the lawyer of IPOB. They went to his house. Because after trailing him, they were unsuccessful. So they had to go to his house. And they are also doing so for other Biafran activists and human rights. That is what the Fulani Janjaweed are doing. One of the Biafran activists, Harrison Guanishu, from the so-called Niger Delta, revealed how he survived an assassination attempt on his life. You know, he said he narrowly escaped dead from some men in police uniform. That is, terrorists, Fulanese in police uniform. You know, they had their van and they wanted to gun him down. Because they have been directed by the Fulani Nigerian government to go after everyone or anyone speaking for Biafra. They should go after them. And that is why they are using the terrorist minister of communication, Sheikh Issa Petami, to harvest names of those they need to assassinate. And that is why Sheikh Issa Petami was insisting that NIN registration is compulsory. It's compulsory because they want to capture all those strong voices in Biafra land in order to stop Biafra freedom. According to Harrison Ganushi, a Biafra human rights activist from the so-called Niger Delta, he said the second attempt to his life happened in Asaba, Delta state capital of Biafra land. As he was driving on the highway before the Asaba International Airport. You know, he said men in police uniform pointed AK 47 gun at him, but he swerved to the right side of the lane to avoid being killed by the police terrorists. He said, today I escaped an assassination attempt by the Fulani 
police in military uniform, dressed in black and driving a black Helios vehicle with the inscription, Nigerian police. They were fully armed with AK-47 rifles. My brothers and my sisters, you can see what the Fulani Janjaweed are doing. They are using their terrorists, repentant, so-called repentant Boko Harams, and terrorists Fulani bandits and killer headsmen. They dress them in military and police uniform, and they give them Helios vans to be parading Biafran capital cities and looking for those strong voices fighting against the Fulani oppression, stopping the Fulani Fulanization agenda. That's what they are doing. You know, they are also going after Biafra Efulefu contractors and businessmen because they have given them so much contract. They have given them so much business in order to stop Biafra freedom, but they are not delivering. They have not been able to stop IPOB or Eastern Security Network. They have not. And that is why Meyeti Allah, the Fulani Meyeti Allah, the terrorist organization of Fulani Janjaweed, are on the neck of Biafran businessmen and politicians. And that is why some prominent, they call themselves prominent. They are not prominent because they are after their own pockets. Selfish interest. Some Efulefu businessmen in Southeast Biafra land, led by Efulefu slave politician Emmanuel Nwayahu, have called on northern traders in Biafra region of Southeast to provide them with an estimate of losses incurred as a result of attack by Biafran freedom fighters. You know, they made this known during a meeting involving the so-called Igbo leaders and the Northern business leaders in Southeast. You know, IPOB and Eastern Security Network have been accused by the Fulani Janjaweed of carrying attacks on, on government institutions, security forces, and individuals, including Northerners and their businesses. That is a big lie. IPOB never and have never attacked any peace-loving persons in Biafra land. They haven't. Eastern Security Network are in bushes and forests of Biafra land. They are in the bushes and forests of Biafra land, protecting our land. So, how come they are now attacking the Northern business people, the Nigerian compromised news media, and the slave politicians and businessmen in Biafra land, are all liars. They are playing to the gallery. They are speaking the script of the Fulani Janjaweed. If you go to Biafra land, you will see that the Fulani Janjaweed are still doing their business. Those ones doing legitimate business, they are still doing it. They are still selling their sugar cane. They are still polishing people's shoes. They are still selling uh, goro and uh, cigarettes. They, st they still have their kiosks. They have it all around, opened. Even when there was 
chaos when the sent unknown government were cleansing the land, the Fulani Janjaweed doing legitimate business still operates even to the middle of the night. Whereas Biafran businesses were closed between 5 to 6 p.m. They closed. So how come they have incurred losses? They are all liars. They are all liars. Emmanuel Nwanyawo and his gang of criminal Biafran business men are thieves. They are thieves. They want to get more contracts and that is why they are doing all this. They want more contracts. They want more contracts. Instead of them to fight for Biafran freedom, they are busy chasing after shadow because there is nothing they can do to stop Biafran freedom. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting our channel. Please watch out for the next and bye-bye for now.